morning. It's Thursday, June 4th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, How to Cure a Cosmic Headache, and our scripture is Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You've taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think about them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You gave them charge over everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your head can hurt a lot when you start thinking of eternity and the vastness of creation. How can you wrap your mere mortal mind around a universe which, from the moment it was created, has been expanding at a blinding rate of about 4 million miles a day? What's interesting to me is how much impartial, non-agenda-driven science corroborates scripture as opposed to stilted pseudoscience which attempts to disprove God's presence. Sometimes the connections are amazing. In the case of the quote-unquote Big Bang, scientists of integrity have opined that the universe appeared all at once. In the following scientific explanation, it not only says that, but also tacitly affirms the wording of scripture that God created ex nihilo, meaning there wasn't anything in existence until God spoke it into being. Quote, the universe did not expand into space as space did not exist before the universe, according to NASA. Instead, it's better to think of the Big Bang as the simultaneous appearance of space everywhere in the universe. The universe has not expanded from any one spot since the Big Bang. Rather, space itself has been stretching and carrying matter with it. Nothing existed, God spoke, everything existed, and is growing. How majestic and consistent with, let there be, and there was, and is, and ever shall be. If there's any empirical evidence to cure the kind of cosmic headache you get when you try to explain away God, this is it. Believe scripture and watch the day's events, not through the eyes and ears of CNN and 21st century full of itself culture, but the eyes of one who has the balcony seat and sees more than just the big picture, but also who sees the beginning from the end. Let's pray together. Father, you are majestic, all-seeing, all-knowing, and all-powerful. How excellent is your name. And though your glory overspreads and oversees the entirety of your expanding universe, you have chosen to be mindful of us. As the heavens declare your glory, your Son, Jesus, declares your mercy and grace. For you today. It's my prayer that, having intentionally drawn your attention to the infinite Lord, creator of a universe none of us can begin to comprehend, I will have messed with your comfort zone in which you imagine you have possessions, property, power, or whatever you consider your treasure. I pray I've meddled enough so as to plant in your soul the thought of letting go of all of it in favor of praising eternal God, the one who can cure a cosmic headache. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.